Hey, what's up guys? It's Austin here from Royal Highness Pythons and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys what to do if your eggs get moldy. So ball python eggs like to get moldy sometimes and a lot of people think that's the end of it, but you can save them sometimes. So we're going to get into that. For that, let's do a huge shout out to Precious Pythons, Pure Royalty. I guess we're both royalty, but she's definitely not slacking on the back. She's got some cool logo there too. Nice Egyptian theme going on. And definitely go and check her out on Instagram and YouTube. So let's get right into this video. So if you have moldy eggs, there's a few things you're gonna need to save them. And the first thing you're gonna need is paper towel or a napkin, whatever you have. So basically you're gonna use this to wipe off the mold. And then you're gonna need some sort of anti-fungal foot powder. And in this case, we're using tenactin. And you can pick this up at Walmart or Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada. Not sure if it's in the States, but definitely go and pick this up. Works wonders. And the less you use, the better. So another thing that you need is moldy eggs. So right here, I have two eggs from this clown clutch that are moldy. And I've already treated them a few times. Mold can come back. So if you take a look over here, you might see some white powder. That's the previous tenactin I've been using. And so basically what you do is you take your napkin or paper towel and you pick up the egg and you just go to where the mold is and you just want to wipe all that stuff off. But just for a better way to do it, we're just going to do this. Use one napkin to catch all of the residue that's going to fly off and we'll use another one just to come and wipe all that mold off. There's not too much coming off because I have used tenactin a few times. And once you use tenactin a few times, it does tend to stain the egg. So if we look at the bottom side, it still looks normal, it still looks healthy. As soon as we start flipping it over, you see all the, it's almost like an abstract art piece. But so basically, I just want to rub off even some of that old tenactin because I did apply too much in those areas. And the less, the better. So here, even though it does look really dirty still, most of the mold is off and if you take a look, you can see that there's, oh wait, is it there? Yeah. There's some mold on here and we're just going to keep going until we get most of it off. And this one looks good, so let's just put this one back in. This is the residue I was talking about, like the mold. That comes off so you want to definitely put it on a surface that you can clean up after so just take our napkin and put it there I'm just gonna do the same thing with a different side of the napkin to this egg it could be different mold so you don't want to contaminate it with new mold spores and another good thing is to do it outside of the egg box or not over the egg box because when doing this a lot of mold spores are being fluttered into the air and falling down and you don't want that landing on any other eggs and possibly molding those out as well. So this one's starting to look real nice and once again the bottom's almost perfect. There's a little bit of mold starting but other than that the side looks good. The top looks horrendous but this guy is definitely gonna make it through. And I'm just thinking you guys are probably seeing this video after seeing the cutting of these two eggs. So definitely, if you haven't seen that yet, go back and look at that. But right, I'm actually about to cut these eggs. So I'm gonna cut back to a segment about a week ago or three to four days ago where I actually put tenactin on them. And then we're gonna get right back to this. But um, I don't know what it's called in the States. It might be tenactin as well, but it's just a fungal foot powder and a little goes a long way so just open it up and with this one it kind of just falls down if you shake it and I'm just gonna put a little bit of a generous amount enough to cover like that and with your clean finger you're just gonna go and rub it all over where there is mold it doesn't need to be completely covered it just needs to be touched with the powder have a little bit of a coating. Try getting it in all the cracks. I'll try 
try not to get too much. You want to kind of like brush it off if you do get too much building up in the cracks. Once again, I said there was some mold in the bottom, so I'm going to go and take this one down here. Just get that. You can see the eggs are already looking a lot more whiter. Still a little bit discoloration, but not as bad as before. On this side, just gonna take the remaining off my hand and just rub it in. So the first egg is done. Let's go to the second. I'm actually just gonna put a little bit more on this one just to get that tip. The tip was very dark, had a lot of black mold. And with my experience, the black mold is a little more deadlier than the green one. If you have black mold entering into a cut egg, it is very bad luck. You wanna get attention, go get rid of that ASAP before you do lose the baby and the black mold does spread. So if you have an egg that's starting to get some black mold, separate it from the other eggs and use some foot powder and really rub it in there. You can see the eggs are both looking a lot better. So that's the simple way to save your eggs. Another good tip is to always make sure the top or the lid of the egg box, like so, is always dry because it does tend to build humidity and when those water droplets fall onto the eggs, that does promote the growth of mold and you definitely do not want that so remember to always keep this clean if it starts building humidity you may want to rough, like wash it off or wipe it off every three to four days you don't want to open your tubs too much because if you do then uh, you might lose some humidity and you also might lose some heat and it might take your eggs a little bit longer to go through incubation or you might even lose some eggs so don't look too much into your incubator trust the process a little bit goes a long way and that's really it so hope this helps you guys it definitely helped me and uh, so just try it out and if you, have, if you feel comfortable if you don't feel comfortable the best bet is just to pick up the egg and toss it out because it can contaminate the other eggs again so if you're into trying this try this if not you could do that or let it mold the rest of your clutch it's up to you but sometimes it doesn't mold the rest of the clutch so you could get lucky so that's enough said so don't forget to like share subscribe this video and stay tuned for the next one. Peace out.